kind of rainy out here. Shoot, I'm rainy. What you mean? We're over here on the <laughs> street <laughs> working, baby. Just saying. Yeah, turn up one time for Cross the Street. What is good? How are you, Birdie? Good. How are you doing our, today? We're doing great. We got our new friends with us here today. We got Rainy. Hi. And we got HK. What's going on? Welcome to the show, everybody. Thanks for having Appreciate us. Thanks they for made the us. long drive in from where did we come from? Eugene, right? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. How was the trip? It was rainy, wet. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but it was it was okay. We made it. We made it. So we're here today to talk about number one, the Beast Mode brand, which we saw pop up here. I spoke to Rainy. She got at me. And we found a time to make this happen because of this brand here. So why don't you tell us a little bit about Beast Mode um, and its origins. So we're out of Eugene right now. We're originally from California. And, you know, the hip hop scene has been gaining traction and we've been kind of working with them. And I wanted to bring a brand that represented the hip hop brand out there. And so we created 541 Gear. Beast Mode is one of our staples, as you can see. Um, we have tons of different patterns. Um, the one we actually brought out for you says respect the hustle on it. So I think you're going to appreciate oh, that and like okay. that one a lot. Yeah. So. It's starting to gain traction, too. We do a lot of pop-ups right now. We're actually um, working on trying to get in Valley River Mall right now. So hopefully that happens soon. And it's going to be a pop-up, basically, before we can get a storefront. So the good part of the story was you guys aren't even Northwest natives. You're kind of transplants mm -hmm. from Southern California, you said? Sacramento. Northern. Sacramento. Yeah. Sacramento. Yeah. Sacramento. Yeah. Yep. Uh, HK, did you do a lot of work out there, I take it, before coming out here? I did. Out here I, did. Musically? I, I came from the legendary Hit Work studio. Um, you know, my mentor was... Uh, Tupac's personal assistant for a long time. My, another one of my mentors is Digital D. Um, he was an engineer for Tupac and a Digital Underground and a couple other things. So I worked a lot with Black Market. Um, wow. We got. I had stuff with uh, with Snoop. I had stuff with uh, Ice T back in the day. Uh, uh, the Loonies. Let's see. Uh, all, pretty much all of Black Market records. Brother Lynch. You know. Um, Bugsy from uh, Sacramento. Bugsy. Okay. Uh, I worked with the Gat California Bear Gang. Um, you know, and a plethora of other things. Big up to the RBL posse. Birdie and I got to spend a little bit of time with them. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was, was a so good time. Fun. It was so amazing with them. <laughs> um, yeah. So now that the the clothing brand has kind of taken its own shape around town, there, um, you were at a show last night, like you were saying. Yep. Yeah. The hip hop scene there in Eugene is blowing up, of course. It's starting to now. People are actually starting to flock to the to the venues and stuff. We got, actually got a good uh, a good stage venue um, down there at the Big Dirty. Okay. Um, it's very uh, visually aesthetic, so um, a lot of you know a lot of the younger crowd come out. You know, they they link up, you know, and support support the movement. Before it'd only be like five or six people out of show. Now there's fifty, sixty, seventy. Wow, hundred. You know, wow, that's great. That's well, great. we love you know the brand ambassador, of course, of yours, Rainy uh, Sav. Mm hmm Savile the native. Yeah. Yeah, so Bill the Nate is pretty dope. You know, um, I linked up with him, and yeah, he became our brand ambassador. And I linked him up with Eric Letloose, who's Big Boy Clothing out in Sacramento. So okay. he's also his brand ambassador, too. So when you see that native by nature, you know, people can reach out to Big Boy's Clothing out in Sacramento, too. So he's pretty dope as well. You have a website for your, your gear? So right now, we're just doing strictly Facebook. Um, okay, we so have a Instagram. store on Facebook, and we have an Instagram as well. And that you can find at Official 541 Gear. We'll add those links for sure for your clothing yeah. in the description below. Um, if you do watch the show enough, we do bring everybody a gift. Um, we have these new awesome refrigerator magnets that I just got. So, oh, <laughs> dropped okay. y'all a couple nice. of the refrigerator mags. Yeah, yeah. We've been sure, slapping them sure. on the side of people's cars and parking lots and stuff too. So if you see oh, them riding oh, around oh, town, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. right here. You yeah. All right, what'd you get? Yeah, yeah. Let's see, see. Yeah. We're, it's over there. This is exciting. I'm excited. I'm so excited. The gear caught my eye, definitely for sure. How yeah. Do you, who comes up with the ideas? Is that both of you guys or? He comes up with ideas. I primarily am the one designing them. Oh, respect that's the legit. Yeah. So we got the respect the hustle, oh. and if you look right here, you got the 541 gear on the arm. Mm -hmm. Let's get this out for you. So, Yo. Bam. And for all my for all my manufacturers out there. <laughs> Don't forget us tall people. I'm not yeah. fat, I'm just tall. <laughs> <laughs> right. Just need the link. Yeah. Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. That's great. Yeah. You made the long drive. I appreciate that yeah. as well. So. It, it was rainy. It was hard to see, but we made it. So. <laughs> we got through it. Yeah, we got through it. We always say the show takes care of us, and it is wet and rainy today, if you can see <laughs> out here today. 
And we got a nice little covered area that we've used a couple times now as an emergency getaway. So, <laughs> so what do y'all do for fun out there? I mean, clothing aside, music aside, what are y'all doing for fun? Well, we're parents, so we like to go to the coast, take our kids yeah. to the coast, do things like that. Um, you know, we have round one out there, so go game with the kids. Um, okay. Just different things. I, you know, I have a few jobs. He has a few jobs, so we're, we're pretty busy as well outside of the clothing line, you know, so. But also going to the hip-hop shows, you know, because we're, like I said, we're more involved with that. You know, last night we went out to that show and supported the people that, you know, um, are the staples of Eugene and also people who are starting to come up in Eugene from right. other areas as well. Shout out to Pico Gang. Pico yeah. Gang, Kawan, Kawan. Right. Kawan. Kawan. Yep. You know, uh, <laughs> Clipper Cartier was out there too, and I know you just interviewed him. Yeah, shout out to Clipper. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Last yeah. time I got to see Dirt Squad last night, they were yeah. doing pretty good okay. out there too. So yeah, for sure. Yeah, if you haven't had Dirt Squad yet, Dirt Squad's definitely somebody surprised too. Me. Yeah. That, did, that did surprise me though. They actually had some lyrics. <laughs> I'm always uh, open to that. If there's yeah. anybody out in my Southern Oregon, or you know. All you guys down there doing your thing, please get at me. And, uh, if you're down to make the drive and come visit us oh, here in absolutely. Portland, we'll get you on the show for sure. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> anybody that makes the effort, we're down to try. What do you got? What do you got? Any questions for him, Bertie? What do you think? Yeah. Um, what kind of food places do you like down here? The Ooh. food places, mumbo gumbo. Mumbo, Ooh, mumbo gumbo, gumbo is always like our staple. But oh, I yeah. just seen this uh, buffalo wing place over here because you know wings are like a staple too. We're, we're, we're so. wing fans. <laughs> I got to give it up to 722, the Morrison's place, uh, Morrison mm, Center, yeah. Portland George at Smacktown. Okay. He just put a picture up this morning. Here, I'll show a picture of it. Bing! Right here on the screen next to y'all. Uh, okay. He put up a burger this morning that has a brisket Ooh. with macaroni and cheese. He called it the Smackaroni and Cheese. Yeah. <laughs> that's about, that's, that's how I think I've name. seen Portland George's interview. You interviewed him, right? Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't he originate from like LA or down south or somewhere else and has lived here since he was a kid? He's been here since he's a yeah. kid. Yeah. So yeah, I, I remember that. We're going to have to check it out for yeah. sure. No, that's a great burger. Uh, I told the story last week, I think, but I went, I got a tooth pulled and an hour later I had a Portland George <laughs> burger 30 <laughs> seconds off the grill sliding down my throat. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I love him all with it. And then we'll actually Try the gumbo bumbo. Is that what it is? Mumbo called? gumbo. Mumbo gumbo. gumbo. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. it's a little food cart, you know, like kind of like a beer garden type setup. Yeah. You guys have a great nice. scene for that down there, right? I mean, the yeah. beer yeah. and food in there is amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Any yeah. favorite places down there that we should know about? Legend of Szechuan. <laughs> Legend. You want real Chinese food, real authentic Chinese food, not like Panda Express, like their real shit. You go downtown Fifth Street, Legend of Szechuan. Um, <laughs> Let's see what else we got. Toxic Wings is, all, is, is pretty good. Uh -huh. um, there's a spot, there's a beer garden out there that's always switching out their food trucks and stuff. So you never know what you're going to get there, but you're going to find something good for sure all the time. Ooh, I think it's time for a road trip. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. Do you guys have any fun stuff planned for the summer? Not really, not yet, and to be honest. Just grind. doing doing shows and grind, you know. Like I said, I work a few different jobs, you know, and so honestly we're aiming to go to Puerto Rico for Christmas, so that's gonna be Ooh, kind of the goal fun. right now. That's why I'm grinding as hard as I am, you know. Like like the chain say, no days off. No days off. <laughs> like literally none. Have you ever been that's to Puerto cute. Rico? First. No. No, so it'll be nope, first. So it's time gonna trip. be a first for us, yeah. That'd be dope. You have to let us know how that yeah, goes. I'd love, love to hear a follow-up yeah. on I'm that. I'm super yeah. excited. Yeah. We checked into, like, the Airbnbs. You can get an Airbnb for a week out there for less than $1,000. A nice one, too. Ooh. So well, it's so worth it. you don't need a passport. That's a U.S. territory, Ooh. so you just go oh. straight out there with your Good ID. You don't need Good no know. passport, nothing, and you get all the wonderful, beautifulness of the islands. Yes. That's nice amazing. sneaker check today, too. Oh, yeah, for sure. Can... You know, I had to pull these out. These are my church yeah. shoes. I had to bust them out the closet. Wow. Looking great. You know, that's my baby, so we had to coordinate. <laughs> had to coordinate. So the kids are home? Yeah. Kids are home. Yep. I, got, I got one sleeping on the couch, like, right now, probably still. <laughs> that's probably what my 20-year-old's doing. He just moved out here from California about a month and a half ago, and he's not used to the weather yet, but he's there with our younger ones right now. So. That's right. So the music stuff, uh, you're a producer as well, right? Mm -hmm. So do you have a place where we can find and listen to your music? Um, you can go on YouTube, look up Killer Harmonics um, okay. or HK. HK, um, right. HK or HK to Killer Harmonics. Um, let's see, the latest stuff I've done is probably with Bugsy. Um, like I said, there's a couple of tracks with California Ooh. Bear Gang that's good on there. Um, a good buddy of mine that's passed away a few years back named Dirty Work. Um, Screet, screet, edumacation, you know. Word. So, okay. uh, 
However you figure out how to spell that, I don't know how to spell <laughs> that, but street education, so, yeah. Well, we also got the we compilation coming up, too, so. Ooh, the compilation. Tell us about that. What's that? What's that? So, you, you, I can even give you guys a little taste, an exclusive taste right now of something, Ooh. but mind you, it's not mixed and mastered yet. Okay, so for most of you who are from Portland and I think Oregon in general, you're going to know who Mac Dub is. So, Let's here's go. it here. I'll give you a little sample. give you a link to that so you can post that yeah, as well. Yeah, we'll post some of his links for mm -hmm. sure too then so people can tap in with that. Is yeah. there anybody else though, out there that you haven't worked yet uh, with in, in the Southern um, Oregon scene? I just, well, there's a Av boy yeah. who I'm trying to work with. He's actually from okay. Sacramento too, but he's been up in uh, Eugene for a while. Um, let's see, King Delane, we got one track, but we're trying to talk about doing a little, you know, a little EP together. Okay. Um, I still want to do some shit with uh, Pico Gang. But yeah. Liko Dandada on uh, Facebook or Instagram. You saw them last night and you were pretty impressed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Okay, yeah. great. Yeah. We've, been, we've been watching them for a couple of years now. They actually been making moves. So right. mm -hmm. they got some good stuff going on, you know? Yes, cool. sir. Cool. That's always great to have an ear to the street kind of far right. away. So shouts to Bren Boy. We got to give our big ups to Bren Boy, Cliff Cartier, of course, out there. Uh, all, all cash, cash player. player. Yeah, right. Those are all uh, Southern Oregon uh, uh, folks of ours. So big ups to them. Yeah. Um, there's a couple other people who are trying to get on um, this compilation, too, that's from Sacramento, um, mm -hmm. like T-Nutty, for example, is going to be one of the people that we're going to end up having on the track as well. Um, I have a long list of people, you know, that are supposed to actually be on this. Um, Smooth Bradley is supposed to be on there, too. He's actually out of Berkeley, but he stays out here in Oregon as well. So there's there's tons of different people we're trying is to network something with and you're open bring for everything. Yeah, open so for collaboration? Yeah. I want to submit tracks. I'm, I'm doing all the beats, but if you got lyrics... Yeah. You know, uh, I'll send you the track. I'm gonna tell you the truth, though. If it's if it's whack, it's whack. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it in private. I'm not gonna blast it, but you know. So anybody who wants to put some, you know, put some input in, you know, we're more than uh, more than happy to accept that, right there. We got a uh, we got our hand we got our hand extended by Weez Beats, a friend of ours here in town. He makes fantastic, fantastic beats. He does. Uh, he's gonna help nice. us make the cross the street. Uh, mixtape so we're gonna have okay. that in the line too he said he started working on some of the beats for that but yeah. i'd also like to stay in the same hand i guess if people yeah. produce and want to be so on the save, you save yeah. me two spots you know? <laughs> there we go you know? you like to, i got, to I got a couple the, of join the friends yeah. you know? <laughs> yes sir yeah. that'd be cool to do a little cross the street yeah. soundtrack have birdie do some dancing for us yeah. absolutely yeah we appreciate your platform you know still yeah. keeping it relevant you know what i'm saying sure. yeah. getting to know the underground hip-hop community you know we appreciate that right there. We said we need a lot of platforms like this, you know. We have a great time making the show for that one reason, is that we get to come out and meet new people that are always more talented than, than, than you guys even know. You guys all mm -hmm. do one thing, right. which yeah. is always one of my favorite questions. You're awesome at owning a clothing brand. It sounds mm -hmm. like you're great at promoting. Yeah. What do you do? What else are you good at? There's got to be something else. Cooking. Like cooking. Okay. okay. The, pan the <laughs> pandemic spawned a little soul food Sundays, you know. We had to make the ends meet, you know. Okay. Um, so, you know, we started doing, like, we had a very prominent soul food restaurant in Eugene that closed down a few years back. Um, they were on, like, diners, drive-ins, and dives on the Food Network, and that's called Papa Soul Food. But since then, nobody can find a good place to get some greens, you know. Nowhere. So you capitalized on that and started doing that out of your kitchen during the pandemic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, we started doing that. We have the professional deep fryer, so we'll do like collard greens, deep fried uh, chicken, um, macaroni and cheese that's baked, you know, homemade cornbread, the whole nine, and sell them for 15 bucks with a sweet tea. Don't oh. bring me a shirt next time. <laughs> bring you some food. <laughs> 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 I heard that. Yeah. I heard that. Right. that. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Well, we ran through about 15 minutes here pretty quick. You want to give some special love, shout outs, PSAs on the way out here? Shout out to the Gatlin. Yeah. Rest in peace, King Kahali. Uh, um, yeah. Shout out to King Delane, Savelle Native, uh, uh, Quarter Zip, you know, uh, Kawan, the other homie, Kuran, two different, very similar, but two different ones. 
um, Pico Gang, you know, shout out to the Big Dirty, the Drake, Davises, all the clubs DJ down there. Smooth. DJ Smooth. Yeah, the yeah, DJ Smooth, the best DJ. Or DJ Sip Out. DJ Sip, yeah. you know. That's where, and that's how we rocking. And shout out to DJ uh, JT out here. Too. Shout out to DJ, yeah, yeah, and, and, and stacking kicks as well because we were in the uh, Oregon Hip Hop uh, Awards, right? We're actually in second place, but the poll stopped working like a month ago. And uh, what is it? SK One Apparel kind of leaped over all of us, and I'm surprised I surpassed uh, Stacking Kicks to be honest. Right, like right. much love to Stacking Kicks. Yeah, he's been doing it for 12 yeah. years, 12 yeah. years plus. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Jefferson down there at Stacking Kicks. We love him, of course. Mm -hmm. him. Dope gear. Mac Dub. Yeah. Yeah. Mac Dub. Yeah. yeah, that's Gangsters. the homie. Yep, yep. Yep. Brittany's getting her workout with the left Ooh, and right, hey. actually. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, and one last shout out to Spittles in Sacramento, too. She's a, she's a female rapper artist out there, too. Pretty dope. Uh, she's, up, right. she's, up, she's gaining traction, getting up there like with Marvelous. So she actually has a track with Marvelous and Gatlin. So Ooh, check that Marvelous? out. Ooh, with Marvelous? Oh, yes. that's, oh, that's kind of yes. old school. I'm showing my age a little bit. Showing yeah, my age a little bit. She still got gas. You know what I'm saying? She's still getting it. <laughs> well, let's bring it in for a little getaway here. All right. Sure. Let's go 541 gear on three. Five, four, one gear on three. One, two, three. Five, five four, four, one, one gear. gear. Hey. Thank you for having us. Yeah, we appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, thank you guys very much. Hope you get home safe, get home dry. Yes, sir. Send our love to the Southern Oregon for us, will you? Absolutely. Yeah. Cheers, yeah. friends. Cheers. <laughs>